Hi, my name is Maximilian Mertz. I'm from uh, Roswell Park in uh, Buffalo, New York. And I just presented data on vaccination after transplantation for newly diagnosed myeloma. And basically, um, all transplantation guidelines recommend vaccination against most of the most common pathogens in myeloma. But uh, until now, nobody has ever tested serological response to these vaccines. So basically, nobody knows whether vaccination is successful after transplantation. So there might be patients who are susceptible to infections, severe infections, who do not respond to vaccination. So in our trial, we investigated vaccine titers before and after transplantation, as well as after vaccination under lenalidomide maintenance therapy. And there were several things that we found out. First of all was that transplantation alone restores the seropositivity against most pathogens. So we saw in 20% of our 139 patients that transplantation basically restored immunity against pathogens. Um, and further on, we saw that vaccination after transplantation is very successful. So 60% of patients after vaccination who were transplanted for neurodiagnosed myeloma showed positive titers after vaccination. And 20% of patients did not. So basically, um, our conclusion from that was that we have to check for titers after vaccination because not everybody responds as, as the usual um, uh, community does. So um, that's the first consequence from our, from our result. And lastly, we performed a survival analysis and could basically show that um, patients who converted from negative to positive titers had a severe benefit concerning progression-free survival and also overall survival. So that's very interesting and we have to go into detail on that because we have to identify which patients are prone for um, positive seroconversion and, and what's the reason for this survival benefit that, that we observed. And it was pretty astonishing because 70% of patients were in ISS stage 3 in our analysis and overall survival in these seropositive conversion patients was 100% at, uh, at 3 years. So these have a really great outcome. We are not sure what's the biological basis of this right now. And we'll integrate also MRD diagnostics and immunoprofiling from peripheral blood and also bone marrow for future analysis to decipher why these patients converted and why the outcome was so excellent. But taken together, we have to say that uh, vaccination is very successful in uh, myeloma patients after transplantation. But 20% of patients do not respond to vaccination, so therefore it's very important to check serum titers against the different pathogens. And lastly, of course, we have to investigate uh, why the survival benefit was so significant in the patients with positive zero conversion. That's an excellent question. So usually most of the uh, European and Amer American transplantation guidelines say six to 12 months after transplantation. And that's the common practice. So usually if you start your um, maintenance therapy, that's about the time when you start your inactivated vaccines. A um, bit more complicated are the live vaccines. So for example, measles, you should wait two years after transplantation to start these live vaccines because there might be some reasons for side effects due to live vaccines if you go too close to the transplant. Um, I think there are two or three points that might be a reason for that. First of all, I mean, the, the vaccinations that, are, that everybody of us receives as a child are sometimes not very common infections among myeloma patients. For example, I never saw, um, also Dr. McCarthy maybe never saw a patient with pertussis or so. Um, after transplantation, but there are some vaccinations that are very, very um, helpful in myeloma patients, for example, against meningococci or, or pneumococcal um, in, um, pathogens. So um, I'm not sure why, why there are uh, different opinions about that, because there, I think, and also the guidelines are very strict about that, that you should recommend revaccination six to 12 months after, regardless whether you ever had any kind of vaccines. Um, or um, this is the first time because it's very, very helpful for the patient. Also seasonal influenza, it's another very, very important. We lose a lot of patients due to seasonal influenza, a lot of myeloma patients. Uh, therefore, there shouldn't be any uh, consideration why we shouldn't recommend it.